You're at a baseball or softball game and you're just handed a scorebook and have no idea what you're doing. But the game is starting in about five minutes. This is the video you want to watch. To begin with, you will need the batting lineup of each team. If you don't have time, just write down the uniform numbers and fill in the names later. You are the only person for your team that can catch a batter batting out of order. If you see that happen, keep your mouth quiet, but let your team's manager know right away. Do not wait. Once you have the batting order written down, your job is going to notate what happens to every batter and runner. That is really all you need to do if you are doing this for the first time. If the batter strikes out, you write down a K or a backwards K. A backwards K is only if the batter did not swing on the last strike. If he swings and misses, it's a normal K. If the batter gets a single, circle the 1B or write down 1B in the square. Then draw a solid line from home to first base. If the next batter is thrown out at first, just write a 1 and circle it. That's the first out. You write the number out and circle it on each batter's square as the outs are made. Do not worry about notating how the out was made, just show who got out. If that runner on first made it to second base, simply continue the solid line showing how far he advanced. This you do for all runners. When a runner has reached home, shade in the whole diamond so it's easy to see how many runs scored. In our sample, the third batter hit a double, which advanced the first batter to home. Our fourth batter struck out swinging and made the second out. The fifth batter was walked, leaving a runner on first and second. Finally, while our sixth batter is up to bat, the runner on second tries to steal and is thrown out. We put the third out on the runner who is thrown out. If there is a batter still up to bat while the third out is made on another runner, that batter will have to come up to bat first in the next inning. This is very important for you to know as you are the only one on your team that will catch the opposing team sending the wrong player to the plate. And you must alert your team's manager if you think this happened. Once there are three outs, make a dark line and scribble out all of the rest of the batters for that inning. If you don't, you will start scoring the next time up to bat on the wrong inning. Start this team's next inning here. You will need to score for both teams. Don't think you only need to track your own team. Good luck with your scoring, and don't forget to come back later and watch our advanced scoring videos to learn more.